In this video, I want to give you a simple, straightforward explanation of Sylvester's criteria for determining whether a matrix is positive definite or not. So let's start with a really basic, simple statement of Sylvester's criterion. And we'll do this for a three by three matrix, and then we'll generalize it for every matrix. So if we take this matrix and split it up into a series of submatrices, for example, we can have a one by one upper left submatrix, which is highlighted in red. And that would be our first submatrix. We could split this up into a two by two that's shown in green. And then we could have the whole matrix as itself as another component of this matrix. And the statement of Sylvester's criteria basically says that if the determinant of all of those highlighted matrices, so if you take each one in turn and you find every single determinant, and if all of these are greater than zero, then you have satisfied Sylvester's criterion, and therefore you can say with certainty that the matrix must be positive definite. We can actually say that this is a necessary and sufficient condition. So once you've applied Sylvester's criterion, you don't have to check for any special cases or do any further calculations. This is sufficient to prove that it must be positive definite. So it's a really powerful test to see whether a matrix is positive definite or not. Let's look at a more formal statement of his criteria, which is what he actually wrote if you go all the way back. So if we let M be a Hermitian matrix, M must be positive definite if all of the following determinants, so if you calculate all of these on my list, I'm going to show you in a second, if they're all positive, it must be the case that the matrix is positive definite. And this works for all square matrices. So if you find the determinant of the upper left one by one matrix, then you do the upper left two by two matrix and then a three by three matrix. Assuming this is larger than three by three, you would continue. You would find the four by four and then you would continue all the way until you've got every single sub matrix and then the whole matrix M itself. Find every single determinant and if they are all positive, then you've satisfied Sylvester's criterion and you have a positive definite matrix. If any one of these is not greater than zero, then Sylvester's criterion has not been satisfied and you don't have a positive definite matrix. So let's look at a simple work example. So we've got a three by three system here and we're gonna apply step-by-step -step Sylvester's criterion and check whether this matrix is positive definite or not. So let's start with the top left. So we've got our first one by one matrix. So the determinant of that is simply gonna be two. One quick trick is if there's a negative in the one one position, you know that the criterion is not gonna be satisfied. And it's the easiest way to check for whether a matrix is positive definite or not. Then we need to look at the next system, which is our two by two in the upper left. We find the determinant using the normal formula. So we'll be looking at doing two times two and then subtracting minus one times minus one. And that of course gives you three. So, so far, it's looking like it's positive definite. We need to now look at the last matrix, which is the entire matrix itself, and we'll find the determinant of that. So you'll apply the three by three determinant formula. This one's going to be a little bit easier because here is zero, so we only need to worry about two determinants. So that will be this expression here. So you find the determinants of these two by two systems. We've got two out front. And then we have this matrix here forming that, then this becomes a plus because remember you're subtracting that in the two by two formula and you've got a minus there. So you're ending up with a minus minus. And then we're looking at the determinant of this system here. If you're not familiar with three by three determinants, you might want to check out a video that I've got on how to find a three by three determinant. And then you evaluate all that, you get the number four. And so if we go back through each of these determinants, you can see that the first one is positive, the second one is positive, and the third one is positive. So in every case, we have positive determinants. Therefore, we've satisfied Sylvester's criterion, and we can conclude that the matrix is positive definite. Hope this video was helpful to you, and this has been a clear and simple explanation of what is fundamentally a very simple rule in linear algebra. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe if you found this useful. Thank you.